Dope Boy TV gang, man, stand up, man. I need y'all to like this video. Make sure y'all go follow me on all my social medias, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Check the description for it. You already know how we stepping out here, man. We ain't ducking nothing. We got the topics on the flow for today's video. Okay, man, so NBA young boy basically bonded out all 15 of the people who went to jail with him. Now, it was bloggers out here saying that the man didn't go to jail and he just got detained and really didn't know what they was talking about. When clearly, if the man getting detained, he getting arrested. Now, they just did a news clip, man. They found, like, a, a whole bunch of guns, money. Now, on the news clip, it wasn't really no drugs, but they that's what NBA Youngboy was arrested for. It was, like, drug possession. Now, what I find very strange is two. I got, like, three things. I'm going to say two, though. NBA Youngboy got to get out of Baton Rouge. Not saying that he lives there. He just got to stay out of there. Because every time you go back there, something bad happened, man. You just got off probation. You do not want to get back on probation. Second, the man got to watch who he got around him. Because I don't know if y'all heard that video right, but it was a young dude at the end of the video. Like, man, the feds said, ask me, do I know them? I told him, no. Nah. Oh, it's 4K Trey, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know what to, like, bruh, that's not, like, clearly, if you got people over here telling the feds your gang name or your whatever you want to call it name, that is not the move. You get what I'm saying? That's just going to. It's going to be bad. And third thing, bro, this is looking like a Rico, bro. Like, they trying to take you down in the whole group along with them. Baby Joes, a lot of people out there, man. A lot of people. A lot. And he bailed all 15 out, and that's the part of the third reason. Like, he go running through money. Spinning, spinning, spinning. He just running through money. Like, at the end of the day... You might make a lot of money, but them lawyer fees and all that, that's going to burn your money out. And just imagine how much he just spent for bailing out everybody. You get what I'm saying? Just imagine. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't over a million dollars and he just wasting all his money. He's young-minded. He, he's still immature. He's starting to mature and grow up. But, I mean, he's still young, and you can't blame him for doing what he's doing because everybody, when they're young, they do dumb stuff. But it's seeming like, bro, he needs somebody in this corner to, like, shh slap him or something or just tell him bro you too big to be making these dumb mistakes like you too big of an artist too big of a, a a presence you get what i'm saying like when you're around like you're like you can't be on the block and you a million dollar dude you get what i'm saying but maybe that's just my opinion how y'all think this is gonna turn out for nba young boy because it looks like baton rouge police is trying to build a rico and they're not playing with them clearly they don't want you in the city Clearly, they see you a gang leader, and they don't. You get what I'm saying? But it's your boy, Doughboy TV. Let me know how y'all feel about this whole situation down in the comments. Like, share this video, and if you're rocking with me, subscribe. If not, kick rocks.